Live. We're there for you. ABC 4 News at 430 starts now. And welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Courtney Johns. We begin this half hour with new questions on the unsolved murders of four Idaho college students. Police now releasing a long and detailed statement on the case, trying to tamp down on growing speculation. ABC's Kana Whitworth has the latest. Police zeroing in on the movements of two of the University of Idaho victims, Zana Kernadel and Ethan Chapin, the night they were murdered. Looking specifically at the hours between 9 p.m. and 1.45 a.m. when the couple was believed to be at Ethan's fraternity. Why are you looking for more information specifically about where Zana and Ethan were in regards to his fraternity house? It actually seems to be one of the larger areas that we don't have a lot of information in. And so being able to locate what they did that night to maybe who they contacted, maybe any routes that they took home, that would be important for the investigation. Zana and Ethan stabbed to death less than a block away at Zana's home, along with Kaylee Gonzalez and Madison Mogan, who were found on the top floor. Two roommates survived, along with Kaylee's dog, seen in this TikTok video. Authorities now say the dog was found inside the home, but in a separate room from the victims. How important is the behavior of the dog in your investigation? We don't believe that there was any appearance of force entering to the home. And as well, at this time, we have not determined if the dog was inside the residence during the murders or not. What we do know is that the dog was inside when officers arrived. The dog did not appear to have any evidence on it. Police also addressing information about the victim's manner of death after Kaylee's father said he learned his daughter's wounds were much more severe than her friends, fearing Kaylee was the target. Please don't be my child. That's the target. Police telling ABC News they have not provided the family with that information. Authorities also telling me they're not attempting to refute what the family is saying. Ultimately, they want to protect the integrity of this investigation. But as time marches on, Steve tells us he's been approached by a private investigator to help solve this case. Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles.